Today we are talking about D23 recap. So first up for Marvel news, Charlie Cox says he was so impressed by the writing of Daredevil Born Again and how it connects to the Netflix series, the writers managed to keep that history but also present it in a way where it isn't alienating. So, mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Excited. Yeah, I saw some interviews with them and uh, they're all very excited. Yeah. Everybody that's in it. So, And yeah. they seem to all really get along yeah. really well. It's yeah. probably like my favorite trailer at a D23. I'd have I to agree. agree, yes. I'd have to agree yes. with you. Yeah. Really, I'd, like, really good I'd trailer. like to see it in real. Yeah. You know, instead of just watching somebody's <laughs> phone copy of it. But yeah. still, yeah. I still think that's part of what they're trying to do at Disney. Try to a little hype around it until yeah. Yeah. it really pops out. They should. I'm excited. Yes, this I is, am too. We need Daredevil. Yeah. 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 And in the interviews, like I was saying earlier, they, they say it's not going to be holding back punches. It's, it may even be more over the top that's than the, the original. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's just brutal and on all sides. So, yeah. And, you know, to see Muse in this, I love that costume. Yeah. yeah. I feel yeah. like his is the only costume where it's like I guess it's because it's accurate from the comics, but like his actually works for like the weird like cargo shorts style they're going yeah. for that I mm-hmm. hate honestly. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I guess Punisher is, is technically too, but yeah. yeah. That's also more stylized, I guess, than mm-hmm. the other ones. But I don't know. Like yeah. their styles or, or costumes are just not that great mm, yeah. so I th- far, I feel like. I, I think Punish is just going to be brutal in this. I can't. Yeah, yeah he's going you know, yeah. to. I, I loved that series, even you know the second uh, season, which was <laughs> I, just I have to stop terrible. watching that show. <laughs> which is just terrible. But John Bernthal is great. He's just Punisher. he's just a yeah. Punisher. And I, he just loves playing the part. Mm-hmm. And they all love playing their parts. Yeah. It's amazing. So yeah, I'm happy like that, that we're actually getting a... Mm-hmm. Deborah Ann Wolf back as yeah. Karen and mm-hmm. uh, Foggy back. Though so we still don't know what their fate really is, and I'm hearing all kinds of crazy I, things. I mean, I but... think originally they were supposed to be killed off, like, immediately, even off yeah. screen. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it seems like that won't be the case. No, now. I hope not. But I don't think that she's going to be a love interest of uh, him. But yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. it'll still make for good TV. In the, uh, in the Born Again comics, she's like a fucking crack addict <laughs> oh, <laughs> that God. reveals his identity. Wow. <laughs> for a hit. Wow. Wow. So, yeah. and I don't know if we're going to go that far, no. but I guess we'll see. But he is a really good lawyer. Damn yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kamala Khan's dad shows up in the yeah. show. Which I, I think wanna... is fun. Yeah. yeah and you I don't, mean, and you don't know if connect. he works in the bank or if he's a... Uh, the bank? It's, he's in a bank. He works in a bank, I think. I think you might be right. Yeah, actually. and I don't know if he works in the bank or if he is a customer in the mm-hmm. bank. But it's uh, sort of said that he might be uh, one of the managers or something in the bank. Yeah, I, weird, I just, I just so. think it's cool that, like, the street level heroes are mm-hmm. now yeah like actually being connected in yeah. some way so i thought that was like a tease or something that he might be working with murdoch and murdoch or murdoch and nelson or whatever mm. maybe uh, i don't know maybe because uh, i i did not pick up anything about a bank no definitely he's in a bank there's no doubt and, and i think there's uh, i think that there might be a robbery that's starting in the bank and mm. that's how matt sort of gets started yeah mm. I had heard mm-hmm. just a rumor this week that there was going to be a cameo yeah. from someone who no one would ever connect Spider-Man. to Daredevil or yeah. in his world. So oh. that's that's pretty Galactus. exciting stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe what if it's his Kamala's dad? <laughs> that would be uh, slightly disappointing. Yeah. But yeah. No, no, no. Well, when you never know. Yeah. You've got to let it play out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it looks exciting, though. I, I'm excited for it. I really love the series every every uh, season of it was really good. Yeah. And season even some of the shows big, that he was shady. in. That were offshoots of it were really good. So I'm so. trying to still now place that as post Echo. Yeah, I think so. It yeah. has to be, I think, because yeah. Fisk is running from. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. A, a bit yeah. surprising we didn't see her in the trailer. Now that I think about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. I think we know she's gonna be in it, right? She's she's gotta she's be. She's gotta be. She's gotta yeah. be. Yeah. I think yeah. there's a c- actual yeah. confirmation though. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's weird. There is one shot of the trailer. I don't know if you guys picked up on it, but Matt is in like I guess his closet. And it just shows like five different co- like colorways of the mm-hmm. costume. <laughs> really? Yeah. So yes. like a black and red one, which is classic. Yeah. The and white. Yeah. And yeah. So a whole bunch of, I think so it's yeah. really nice. I wonder if we're gonna get to see all of them. And the yeah, I wonder series. if like he'll wear all of them. I at hope. Some point. I hope. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. Be sick. Also, kind of like a blink and you'll miss it moment. Uh, bullseye. Yeah. I mean, we already knew that he was back. But I didn't yeah. see him. Yeah. But he was in a jail he was, scene. He, he was wasn't like in a jumpsuit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. He was the guy. He did like voiceover. I don't know. I don't I'm remember. Sure. But I know, like, there's a shot of him, like, in a... What, wasn't he, like, you did something you have to do? Maybe. I know a couple of months back, we saw, like, I guess, photos from yeah. the set with the the guy in his mask and shit. We didn't know who the fuck it was. I thought it was Bullseye. All of us were like, is that Bullseye? That can't mm-hmm. be it. 
I'm glad to find out it's actually Muse because yeah. from what it looks like, it is him. Mm-hmm. I'm curious of what they're gonna do with his character though, because he's a fucking psychopath in the comics. Yeah, he, he is definitely psycho, and I think it's, it's a really cool interesting up. character. Yeah. Really well, interesting. we saw Muse and we also saw Bullseye, and which the, like, he's gonna have suit, a lot so. to handle. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, yeah. I mean wait. between Fisk, Bullseye, Muse. Yeah. The Punisher is back. And and when we last saw our Bullseye, he was had, getting uh, surgery done on his spine, spine and mm-hmm. they claimed that there might be adamantium. Yeah. Also, yeah, in the I don't book, know. he gets mm-hmm. how that works. I think he it gets, might yeah. have been vibranium. I'm sure it'll be adamantium now, but yeah. yeah. Now, I'm wondering if the cameo that you're talking about is going to be someone that helps him, because there's no fucking way he's going to be able to handle it. Oh, maybe he'll get to sleep three. with She-Hulk again. <laughs> 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 We're also shown uh, the white tiger in costume. Yes. Which is... Okay. Uh, I don't know much about that character. The the actor that plays him passed away last year. Yes, he did. Ah. He yeah. did. That was very sad after they shot the uh, scenes. Mm. Yeah. Weird, like, curse with Marvel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that happens. Yeah, that happened to, Moon Knight. Uh, the Moon Knight villain. Or yeah. One of the villains from Moon Knight. Yeah. I like how when you said cursed, one of the lights. Yeah. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, it's kind of weird, like, how many side villains and everything there are in this. Mm hmm. You know, because it it, yeah. f- it feels like Kingpin isn't even that big of a villain, and it, it doesn't. You know, they don't really well push him. This trailer. was also like like on release or something like announced to be eighteen episodes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like the first nine, I think, are shot, and yeah. now like they're like already confirmed for like season two, which is like mm-hmm. you already were. Mm-hmm. But yeah. um, I guess at some point there'll be like another. Yeah, but nine. I think uh, I think Murdoch and Fisk in this are actually working together against yeah, the Muse. That, that's what it seems like. Mm-hmm. They like are almost forced into a position where they yeah. have to work together. Maybe <laughs> he just plays that part so well as the King. Yeah. It's just oh, amazing. Yeah. Oh, you ha- we have all our yeah. We have our perfectly cast people mm-hmm. back. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I hope at some point we get like a uh, Hammerhead and Tombstone around. Well, those that, are Spider-Man. That, that would be. Hilarious. I know, but it'd be interesting to see them like work mm-hmm. as like yeah. under. I don't. I don't even know like what happened to make Kingpin like, a daredevil like licensed hero you know because he is spider-man originally so yeah who was uh playing bullseye it's uh, the same it's actor the same, same guy man, yeah. from yeah I forget from his the name. series i forget his name also it's the only thing he's ever but been in poindexter yeah we also got some brief mention of eyes of wakanda yes mm-hmm. so it will be a four-part disney plus series mm-hmm. and a version of iron fist will appear in it yeah so now, is that animated or is that live action? I think action? it is animated. I think yeah. it's animated because yeah. I think there's a couple of short animated films coming out. I think that or mm-hmm. uh, series, and I think that's animated. Yeah. But it seems interesting. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea what to expect. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. The Ryan Coogler, I believe yeah. his name is, mm-hmm. the director for Black Panther. Um, he's you know running that whole thing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I think he's done okay. good with the first two Black Panthers. Yeah. So it kind of seems like how like Star Wars will just have like random like small mini series mm-hmm. I guess mm-hmm. just animated stuff yeah. that just like also tie into the major lore of everything yeah. going yeah. forward yeah so, I, th- I, I think know. it's interesting because I think now Disney Marvel starting to get behind this in a way where they're putting a little bit more quality back into it or a lot more quality back into it and uh, really trying to flesh it out in the right in the yeah. right way instead of just making it money first yeah. yeah you know the the Chapek days of it I think are behind us where you know he, he promises you everything you know and you get nothing mm, because yeah. he just wants to get people to sign on to Disney Plus or what have you. But I think now we're starting to get some real stuff yeah. come out. Yeah, I know? mean, definitely taking a lot of risks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, I've been saying, like, we just have to get out of the cycle we were in with phases four and five yeah. or whatever. But that being said, though, it does feel like the same, like, hype feeling where, like, when everything was announced, like, before we saw the movies, where we were like, oh, this is awesome. And then, like, 90% of it was just like not great, <laughs> not great. You know? yeah. well just yeah. look back from the changes from 22 D23 till this D23 how many changes have happened just in this phase and phases of Marvel alone is just yeah. incredible also name changes like they, things pushed out it's yeah. just you know dropped significantly yeah. less announcements yeah. I, I mean I have to be honest for the fall I'm actually looking forward to Agatha I think it'll just make that Halloweeny feel I just yeah. and, and it's a good story and I like the character so we'll yeah. see how that even yeah. works out you know, um, so. back to the eyes of Wakanda thing yeah. for you know just to kind of wrap up on that um they said it's going to be like a history of Wakanda type of show. Oh, see, that's, that's cool. interesting. I like, so I like that. We got like our first full look at the Red Hulk. Yes. Right. Yeah. Forward. We and so I think that us seeing that is also everybody seeing that because it happens at a podium. Yeah. You know, in front of 
people yeah. <laughs> in front of the White House. Exactly. Yeah. So I think everybody knows now the president is it's the Red the Hulk. Hulk. Yeah. Um, you know, and how did this happen? There's a scene in the original trailer that came out where he, you know, mm-hmm. he's like, I want. It's like chopped in a way where it's like Thunderbolt Ross is talking to Sam about like bringing back Captain America yes. mm-hmm. as like a government hero. Mm-hmm. But in the new trailer, it's shown he's like asking Sam to bring back the Avengers. Oh, which is kind of interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. yeah, I just wonder how it's going to tie into Thunderbolts. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean Val is probably involved in both shows. He's probably involved in both mm-hmm. shows. Yeah. Meaning Red shows. Hulk. Yeah. Or I, I'm just wondering movie. how. Yeah. What show? The movies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to the yeah. Thunderbolts. Yeah. I really am. Yeah. I'm looking you know? forward to both and, of these. And that whole asterisk on the end is still, you know, out there and people are fooling around with it. But I also hear that that could mean Dark Avengers. Yeah. yeah. You know, which would be interesting. Well, it's either Dark Avengers or they're just all meant to fucking die. <laughs> yeah, well, that's possible too. You never well, know. I don't know. I mean, they're I pretty big so. characters. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Bucky. Yeah. Uh, Sebastian Stan is like teasing like how long can I play this character for mm-hmm. so. I mean I can see like a few of them maybe yeah you know? like maybe the Red Guardian I am yeah. curious though how'd you guys feel about their suits uh I didn't really I didn't even them. notice them at all to be yeah. honest it was a little yeah. dark so I mean until we get something like yeah. people are yeah, but. like very upset about them from what I could see I don't yeah. like him no I, I they don't like, like rub me the test anything crazy it's kind of weird regular Marvel suits know. Unless it's really terrible, I don't find too much of a problem. Also, with I the feel suits. Like maybe I didn't notice them too much. Yeah, yeah. I think the, the general system. comment was that they looked better in their previous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I than mm-hmm. they did for this. That's how yeah. I. Feel. AJ told me that apparently Taskmaster mm-hmm. isn't a skull because it's like Chinese censorship. Yeah. So instead of you know yeah. having mm-hmm. to just cut the character out. They just make the mask something that will pass Chinese censorship yeah. laws, oh which is weird because I feel like it would not be that hard for them to just like re-render, right? Mm-hmm. With like mm-hmm. a different thing, because right. like I, I feel like they haven't had like a full mask, like a real one, in a while. You right. know, but so. what, what's wrong with the skull? It's, it's not allowed in Chinese not, yeah. movies, I guess. Aside from that, I thought this trailer looked awesome. Oh, I, I definitely I'm not expecting that at all. And and just how it's teased, like how the team comes together, you know, mm. like they're sort of all locked in some type of uh, lab or something. And Thunderbolts, yeah. right? Thunderbolts, yeah. yeah. With the Century too. Yeah, with Century. Who's I'm Bob. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Did we get a but tease then, at his power at all? No, we didn't get a tease was, at his power I mean, though. A little though, bit because like he's like riddled with bullets. Yes. Yeah, and mm-hmm. there's yeah, all yeah, bullets yeah. on the ground, and he's yeah. fine. So then we got kind of like classic. Yeah. But I don't think he thing. knows who he is yet. So yeah, something interesting I just noticed though is the Marvel Studios logo also has the asterisk. Mm-hmm. So that might mean that they're not changing it to Dark Avengers. Hmm. Interesting mm-hmm. though, that has the asterisk. The fight scene that we're shown in this trailer is it's really great. Cool. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm excited. Yeah. Just like it's good it. to see Marvel like kind of have the sauce again yeah, when well. it comes to that type of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what else comes out as an R, you know, because yeah. the formula works. So let it happen, Captain. Yeah, yeah. I also uh, kind of like the idea of like uh, Guardian, Red Guardian, just being like a shitty deadbeat mm-hmm. dad, yeah. just like, trying to look cool in front <laughs> yeah. of his daughter. I love it. But I, when he opens the door, she says, "Hi, Dad." Yeah, you know, so she, that's pretty he, cool. She's, she's After all that, mm-hmm. she's yeah. starting to warm up. Yeah. yeah. I, I love Florence Pugh as Yelena. Mm-hmm. I think she's great in that role. Mm-hmm. It's actually mm-hmm. kind of insane that they have like an actor for caliber. Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, we know what she can do. We've seen it. Yeah, I mean, this movie is probably going to be really fun mm-hmm. from what it seems. I was telling mm-hmm. him, I just cannot believe you have U.S. Agent yeah. and Winter Soldier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Supposedly fighting side by side. Because to me, I'd say Winter Soldier would... Sh- just want to kick his ass to yeah. the hole. Yeah. And then there is the whole whole thing going into Winter Soldier. He's taking his arm out of the dishwasher. Yes. Yeah. So how did he get it back from? Yeah. I, I don't even know raccoon. if that's supposed to be like canon. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. But maybe they'll mention it. Well, I think he's he's had like a few now. I hope so. Yeah. Speaking of U.S. agent, I like the fact that like. It, the first time we see him in this like trailer, he's just like fucking neglecting his child, to, like mm-hmm. just yeah, be he's depressed on, about like yeah. not being a hero. Mm-hmm. But when I every time I see him, I think of the movie Up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the the father, just that chin and oh, and yeah. the, he just I'm looking at him going, oh, "Where are the balloons?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He just don't do it for me. I'm yeah. sorry. I think he's like not supposed to though, because he's know. supposed to be like a crappy Captain America. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> he plays it well, and like Wyatt Russell's so good at that, just like mm-hmm. big fucking like dweeb 
type of guy. <laughs> I like Wyatt Russell. He's yeah, really good, good in actor. that uh, the monster thing that he does with his dad too. Yeah, the yeah. Godzilla shit. Yeah. yeah. They should have gotten J.D. Salinger's son back for Cap. <laughs> I, I still cannot believe, like, in Cap oh 1990, God. it's J.D. Salinger's son. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. It's an insane fact. That was just a terrible movie. Yeah. Could you pull over? I don't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Three times. <laughs> well, we were speaking about Iron Arms. Yes. How about Iron Hearts? Mm-hmm. Not a great transition. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. It's not I don't know. I don't think she, for me anyway, she's an unnecessary character i think yeah. it's especially already, to showcase her i i just don't i think it's it. already in the can and we're gonna see it so. yeah no i mean, I, yeah. I know yeah. they're moving that way mm-hmm. but i yeah. i don't know i don't know the yeah. trailer trailer just didn't get me excited and the suit yeah. the suit doesn't impress me I, I expected more from it you know i don't know if they're thinking she's the new replacement for iron man that's but not gonna happen i don't think so yeah i don't know like where she fits in maybe young avengers eventually mm-hmm. but but it's also weird because like Everything I've heard about this show is like also going to be like our first look at Mephisto in the mm. MCU. Uh, well, we wow. see Hood, which is yeah, weird. Mm-hmm. Hood. Anthony Ramos is playing Hood, so yeah. I mean, I don't even know what the yeah. show is supposed to be, but it's been announced for a long time. Right, like, mm-hmm. even last yeah. year, two years yeah. ago, we were talking yeah. about this. Okay, let it run. So, yeah, we'll see. I might be surprised. Yeah, like I, I don't really know where she fits in though. So it, it's weird though, just like having a big like tech character interact with like Mephisto and mm. yeah, that, yeah probably that's Mephisto what is but, like yeah. exciting about it to me is like taking a character like that and almost you know forcing them to be in the mystical side of the MCU yeah. which is cool I mean we, mm-hmm. we don't definitely don't have enough of mm-hmm. uh, you know mm-hmm. that weird magical side of the MCU yet. it's also like a good like she it's not a strength I guess for her mm-hmm. you know because mm-hmm. like kind of fish out yeah. of war- water storyline type yeah. of thing. So. I, I'm, I don't know. I'm sure Sasha Baron Cohen will be a good addition to the MCU, though. Yeah. yeah. Mephisto. Yeah. Probably the best character yeah. you could think of. Mm. For no, as play. Borat. Like, outside of, like, <laughs> Loki. <laughs> as Borat. Yeah. I mean, that's why I feel Iron like Man. It, it has to be Mephisto, because, like, I don't know what other, like, weird demon they would do. Yeah, yeah. right. That's yeah. true. It's like, another thing is, like, Marvel Comics, like, also, like, from having nine million fucking space characters, they yeah. just have, like, a bunch of weird demon characters, yeah. Mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Like, yeah. fucking Glorpo, just, like, the <laughs> demon of, like, pain. Yeah. But, so, in the comics, Hood's, like, what powers power, I guess, like, his hood and cloak and everything, um, no, no, is... Hood. Oh, yeah, sure. I know. <laughs> what, what powers his hood and boots <laughs> is Dormammu, so I don't think they'll do that. That's yeah, not interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't know that. I, I think that's going to be Sasha Baron Cohen's role. Mm-hmm. Powered so, by Oh, isn't Dormammu stuck in a loop? Yeah. yeah. Well, he was. Yeah, or yeah. was, yeah. Yeah. It's like a such like a character where it's like that's why like i hate the thing that the mcu does where it's like we gotta kill this fucking villain in their mm-hmm. first ever appearance dormammu <laughs> yeah i mean they didn't not, kill him he's not dead but he's mm-hmm. probably never gonna be seen again yeah i mean that whole movie just has a villain problem in my opinion mm-hmm. yeah we gotta introduce uh mordo as a big villain and <laughs> never have him come back <laughs> and then also put him in venom <laughs> yeah I forgot about Speaking that. of Venom, apparently, like that movie is gonna take place in the MCU in parts. So sure like, it will, Sony. Okay, sure yeah. it will. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. On to some DC news. James Gunn Superman has officially wrapped filming. Yeah, so, yeah. Wow. It feels Which is pretty quick because it's mm-hmm. coming out the same day as Fantastic oh, Four. Geez. We got a lot of work to do, boys. Yeah, Fantastic Four. Do we have to see two movies in one day? Yeah. Oh dude. shit! <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah, we're gonna have to. <sighs> I feel like that's that's weird. Like I, they didn't even think about that really. I honestly haven't heard like too much about Superman. Yeah. Uh, there's been yeah, like a few. I set leads, I've seen yeah, I've but... seen set photos, but nothing else. Yeah. 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 I, I wonder when we're even gonna get like a trailer. Yeah, we, yeah. We Fantastic even... Four already has a trailer, and they haven't even fucking filmed anything mm-hmm. yet. They have. I feel like yeah, that's filmed, like, like a... very filmed. Yeah, I think you know? that's. I they think... just started filming. I feel like it's like yeah. from what like there was a teaser that I saw, and it was like pretty. Like, mm-hmm. There was a lot of shit. It's like a decent amount. And the way that I saw them even uh, talking in interviews, it's almost like they definitely did a lot of work together. Yeah. I think they did some like pre-production stuff. Yeah, maybe. And got that little teaser out. Mm-hmm. But Pedro Pascal says he's not even showing up. In the movie? <laughs> Big problem. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you okay. talking about? For the first time now in public, Matt Reeves has designated the Batman franchise and its spinoffs as the Batman Epic Crime Saga. So that's what we got to call it now. No, I don't think I'm gonna call it that. I just think that's interesting though, cause like we know what the types of villains are, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we're not gonna get mystical villains probably. Yeah, yeah. Anything. It would, would be a cool world to just like try to adapt something like that into mm-hmm. though, like yeah. mystical. Yeah, so um, 
Also, Penguin Show comes out uh, September. Yeah, like yeah. around Agatha seventeenth mm-hmm. or some shit. He looks great in that uh, makeup and everything. Yeah, I mean, I'm amazing. excited for that show. Mm-hmm. I, I just think Colin Farrell's a really good actor. Yeah. So, uh, I, I just from watching the trailer again, it gives me uh, Sopranos vibes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I just think he's gonna become he, brutal. He's gonna be amazing. Woke yeah. up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and I look like Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. Any Fantastic Four stuff you wrote down? All I know is I watched the last Fantastic Four movie that they made. So did my dad. I did, too. I got sucked into it. It was on HBO. And how annoying, how different of an approach did they take to the movie? They they kind of crushed my soul. To me, that movie was almost like, uh, what what was that? uh, It's fantastic. The the Asteroid movie, that's what it was like. What, the Bruce Willis one? The Bruce Willis one. That's what it was almost like to me. They went to an asteroid, had to blow it up, you know. And it was just a silly story. The whole movie was just they silly. They changed the character so much. But, but my favorite character in the whole movie was Ben Grimm. Thing. Yeah, but you, ben know Grimm. They, you know how they fucked him up? Hmm. They gave him five fingers and I, five toes. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's true. But, but he that's was, not the thing, yeah. man. You but know, he, like, he, he was my favorite it. character in the whole Who movie. The fuck makes Even a Young movie Grimm, about the Fantastic Four Young Grimm, all the way up. He was my favorite character in the whole movie. Other than that, it just stunk. Yeah, I just hated. Like, I watched the opening scene with them where, like, it was, they were kids. Yeah. It's like, like, completely trope. You yeah. Know? yeah. Yeah. I feel like it was trying to copy, like, Cloudy with a Chance at Meatballs, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's what actually yeah. the Reed Richards yeah. look like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I felt like he could just, they could just replace <laughs> the, the animated guy with him, face wise and everything. Yeah. yeah. I didn't pick up that he was a super genius at all or anything no, like that. No, even Doom. Doom. Yeah. Yeah, it was just, yeah. It was so flat. Mm-hmm. Well, now Doom's fucking Robert Downey Jr. No, yeah. he's not. Don't <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I'm not nah, 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 nah. The little teaser thing that they put out, I know they didn't put it out, but it's same, kind of same. leaked everywhere. Else, yeah. um, it starts with like Reed Richards, almost as like a, like Bill Nye type of guy, <laughs> mm-hmm. like teaching kids science, and yeah. it's like the fantastic something. Okay. So that's like a fun way to get them their name. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's from this like science show. Mm hmm. Uh, that's the their first suit? look yeah. at the costumes. Yeah. They're really There's going like weird for like retro all over the suit. Yeah, they're doing that retro 60s look. I wonder if and everything. Though yeah. he has the dots on the suit, maybe. Well, it might be like some CG. CG yeah. Hmm. I don't know like what the one by like here would be, though. I don't know. Maybe it's an asterisk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the suit looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see a lot more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Suits. yeah, it does look bad. The yeah. retro vibe, yeah. It looks I, good. D- I do like the idea of like the retro futuristic. I'm world. excited yeah. the car's in it. Yeah, even Herbie, the mm-hmm. robot, yeah. being in it is the Jetsons. Fun. Yeah, but good. But that's what they were saying. It's like that Jetsons feel. Uh, that's what yeah. it's going to be. Which is, which is going to yeah. look good. And that hopefully. little teaser also, like, uh, it shows Reed. Or, like, mm-hmm. yeah, I guess they're all getting interviewed at the house. But he's, like, <laughs> just, like, in a suit. He looks like a guy from the 50s. And he's, mm-hmm. like, with Sue. He's, like, every night we make a, or every Sunday night we got to have a, a Sunday family dinner. No one can be late. <laughs> so, I don't know. I mean, he, he plays that role really well of just, like, dad. So mm-hmm. we're uh, we're not expecting an origin movie. There was some origin like filmed, mm-hmm. so I don't know. We might see some stuff. Yeah, I don't know if that's just for like the teaser stuff, right? Because yeah. Matt Shackman has said like it's not going to be an origin movie or flashback, maybe. Yeah, it might be like first fifteen minutes. Mm-hmm. I'm excited for Matt Shackman to direct this. Actually, um, he did Wandavision, mm-hmm. which you know is at least filmed pretty well, yeah. in my opinion. No, no doubt. And also, you know people were asking him like what are your inspirations going into this and he's saying honestly like i'm not even looking at any other movies or shows to try to make my fantastic four i'm strictly like looking at comics mm-hmm. which Good. you know that's the way to the approach number one you. thing i want to hear yeah so yeah. yeah bring them to life yeah on to some other news invincible creator robert kirkman says that invincible season three's release date will be announced very soon i don't give a shit i sort of I I, I, I didn't even finish the other <laughs> one. I don't know what happened. I, I, sort I of don't just think I'll off. be watching, honestly. I, I tapered off a little bit. The first bit. couple episodes to you? First first season season was the good. first season was well, incredible, yeah. you know? Yeah, I watched the first season. And what you're just probably just... forgetting is they split season two yeah. by like a few mm-hmm. fucking months yeah. for yeah, no reason. Would, mm. Stupid. That's how yeah. you lose your audience. Yeah, well, it yeah, lost. They also put out that little like teaser trailer before season two dropped. The animation in that is so fucking awesome. Yeah. And then they just use like a completely different animation house. I'm pretty yeah, sure I saw something where it was the like <laughs> teaser shit was drawn by like porn artists. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Should have hired them for everything. Yeah. Great shit. 
but like apparently they were exposed for like using North Korean artists for like their show. Wow. Yeah. So they're fucking underpaying and they can't even get anything better. Yeah. And it's fucking run by Amazon. Yeah. Oh, God. Seth uh, Rogen. I'm sure we'll care about this. Incredibles 3 has been officially announced at D23. Yes. Yeah. We're, and Brad Bird is back, mm-hmm. basically. I don't think he had, like, anything to do with Incredibles 2, really. Mm-hmm. He did. Not enough. He did. I think he's just not great anymore, honestly. I am i don't think he had as much to do with the second one as you think he did. He did. Fucking revisionist. I don't. I, I enjoy the franchise. I, I do, too. Yeah. So. The first fun. one's, I mean, classic. I like it, too, but... The second one isn't that good. I, I think they're they're starting to milk it, because it's by Pixar, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you guys hear that Toy Story's doing Toy Story 5? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, but come hey, on. Come on. I, yeah. I'm, I'm a Toy Fuck. Story guy. Well, the, th- the issue with Pixar is, like, it's so 50-50 split yeah. from, like, the fan base, where mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, the old IPs, let's bring them back! And then, like, yeah. everyone else is just like, we want new content. But yeah. then, like, when new... IPs are created, no mm-hmm. one goes to fucking see yeah, it, yeah, and right. no one cares. Which is ridiculous. Like, like they know. announced like three or you know, two or three new IPs, and yeah. like mm-hmm. I don't know, it yeah. doesn't seem like there's a lot of hype behind right. any of them. It's, I don't know. I just think of their milking at this yeah. point. Every franchise is a yeah. milk, though. Yeah. I mean, they also just haven't been that great of a company since like Brave the came out, even since like Cars came out. To be you know what? If they're milking, give me Mega Mind Two <laughs> now. <laughs> That's not Pixar. <laughs> That's not Pixar. That's a uh, it's DreamWorks. We got Mega Mind too, by the way. <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> what? I, got a I didn't know. Good for you. Yeah. Straight to DVD. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Straight to DVD. <laughs> uh, different <laughs> animators, different cast, <laughs> completely. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. And by the way, you won't want to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> that thing, there's 20 copies <laughs> rotting in a red Mega box Mind in Sorry. <laughs> Pennsylvania right now. <laughs> uh, oh. What are we up to in Minions? Uh, 15, four. 16. <laughs> Did this four? Pickle, this pickle yeah. me? Yeah. yeah. yeah four. Yeah. Pickle me. Potato. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never watched any of them. This came out like a day or two ago, yeah. but it was announced at D23. Like some guy, I guess, just mm-hmm. fucking like recorded this. And it was the one person that recorded it and fucking has been holding on to it. <laughs> but the, the teaser for Spider-Man freshman year came really? out. Uh, or your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, mm-hmm. it's called yeah. now. Uh and it's an animated, you know, comic book style animated mm-hmm. show yeah. of this alternate universe Peter Parker who uh, he becomes Spider-Man when Doctor Strange and some Venom symbiote that are fighting fall through a fucking portal into his universe. But like a spider is attached to them also and the spider falls onto Peter and then he gets bit while talking to some girl and like Nico the girl Minoru, I think from the it, Runaways. Oh, uh, yeah, one of the runaways, yeah. He's like, hi, what's your name? And then he's just like, I'm Peter. And then she's like, ah, my name's Lima Minoro. Right? Nico Minoru. Yeah, that. Yeah. And then he goes, that. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> And then she's like, is it that bad? Uh, and he, he gets bit by the spider. And then he fucking passes out on the street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's his origin. Yeah, and then it just goes straight into the intro. Yeah, the intro is like really a dream good. sequence. Uh, Does he have oh my God. like a mix of venom and? We haven't really seen. We have nobody seen knows. Much, right? yeah. The only thing we've seen From is like the, the concept intro art. There's like 15 different suits, and one of them I think is an anti-venom suit. Wow, that's an, okay. Um, All right. Yeah, the the intro is good though. Yeah, the animation's okay. It works like when they're trying to like make it look good. I right. guess it looks good, but when they're just like walking around i guess like it it's not like that a great bit you know? like a video game yeah unfortunately oh, yeah. like yeah. i don't know why you wouldn't do something that looks so much like a comic book yeah. why you would do it in 3d right is a little they confusing. say they're like animation isn't in-house but i feel like they just like have one animation studio doing well, it they use still. that one south korean studio yeah and it's like marvel can say that they're not using in-house animators because everything they do Mm-hmm. It's outsourced to that one studio. So they're not in-house, but, like, you fucking use the one studio. And they can do different designs. I mean, they did X-Men 97, and they did What If. So those are two yeah. vastly different styles. It, it just feels like they have, like, a certain 3D style that they're going for. It's just, like, underlying right. style. Mm-hmm. So it's weird. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it it I, might I, be cool. I don't know. I, I didn't think... Uh, I never thought about... The, you know the art studios but i mm-hmm. didn't think marvel being associated with disney would have a problem with animated yeah. yeah i don't think disney has an animation department anymore well i mean i'm sure they have an animation department like to some degree but mm-hmm. i don't think it's involved with marvel at all now yeah. 
everything Marvel animates is just from, it's just from that it. one Korean studio. Yeah. I think it's just like a thing where like in the early 2000s something happened where like people only cared about 3D animation. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A DC is just so superior in animation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You guys want to talk about Craven? No. I do. I, I only <laughs> seen one scene that I absolutely loved. Okay. The Rhino. Yeah. You love that scene? I, I thought it was cool loved. too. I thought he I looked liked the Rhino. Horrible. I think the Rhino yeah. that's the way it should be. Really? Not the mechanical Rhino. Mm-hmm. I don't think it should be a mechanical Rhino, but I think the one that's in the trailer looks Well, I'm hoping really they do terrible. it a little bit better, but you yeah. know, from what I've seen that's the bulk and I, the, I, like I don't know cuz like Rhino I isn't agree. supposed like to be like him. a half okay. Rhino guy. You it's know, just, he's supposed to be a, a big Rhino suit. Yeah, he's a guy who's just like fucking fused to like Rhino skin. Right, yeah. uh, rhino skin. It's like some weird skin that's. I really like uh, Alex Ross's design of rhino. It's just like a big guy, and then like the rhino suit has like rhino eyes and shit. That's weird. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's just I don't care. Yeah. Also, I just saw <laughs> AJ sent stink. me something where like there's a line at the end of the trailer that's just like can indecipherable. Can't even, yeah. can't even hear it. It's like yeah. rhino rune. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Russell Crowe just mumbling. <laughs> well, we're the one that becomes it. And like I go back to, do we really need a Craven? I don't think I need anything else from Sony's Sony, Spider-Man right? with Spider-Man universe. It's yeah. just so terrible. I mean, and after they put out that crap that we went to go see, how oh. do you trust them? I don't want to talk about Craven. No. Yeah. I well, don't want to see Craven. But we probably will. A three-person podcast. <laughs> Hey, that's all right. for the I heard it's coming out the same day as Fantastic Four <laughs> <laughs> and Superman. They mm-hmm. wouldn't fucking dare. Mm-hmm. No. That opening week's box yeah. office is going to be bad enough. Deadpool Wolverine still pulling in numbers, right? Oh, my right? God. Yeah. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. What if it's coming to a close with season three? So that's going to be it, yeah. <laughs> all I'm keeping in is that you, you saying what if it's coming to a close with season three. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, that was our recap of everything from D23 on the Marvel side of things. Next week, we are going to be watching Donnie Darko. Theatrical cut. A theatrical cut of Donnie Darko. Little birdie told me the uh, director's cut fucking sucks. <laughs> Bye. 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 Adios. Good. Sometimes I doubt your commitment to sparkle motion. Wake up.